Hey guys, what is up? Alexander Thornis here. If you're new to my channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button and hit, leave this video a like, please. So, uh, before we start this video today, I would like you all to know that this is something that I don't do on my channel usually. I usually do, uh, like, Jurassic World action figures, and I'm going to be putting up a new Mattel Aquaman uh, multiverse so let's get straight into the video so today we're doing the Popo big cats now I don't have all of them I don't have the uh, the two mountain lions and a snow leopard and maybe like a sphinx or whatever but you know we're, just, we're not getting down into details with this but let me know in the comments what is your favorite type of big cat my favorite big cat is probably a tiger, and that's why I have so many tigers today. I have about six tigers, I think, well, probably like five and a half because they're, uh, the one is a baby. So anyway, let's start out with the Papo Cheetah. Now this cheetah is kind of small for its size, and it's a little skinny for a cheetah, but it is a very nice model. It's not to scale with the line though. It's a bit smaller than what it should be. Uh, the one thing I don't really like about this is its eyes are kind of like a tomato brown. I kind of prefer if they were more yellow or maybe green. But there is teeth in this mouth, which I think that's a good sign of detail. I don't think these dots were painted on. It just looks like to me that they were printed or maybe this is just a special type of paint, but here it is in front of me. Here it is next to my hand. And this tail, I feel like there should be a black tip instead of uh, just a yellow tip. And there's red highlights on the back. And it isn't a nice pose. I would prefer if maybe they would do a cheetah where it's in like a running, a cool running pose maybe, where they have it in such a way that it could be balanced I don't, I don't know, but, well, that being said about the cheetah, let's move on to our next model. Uh, let's go with the jaguar. So, uh, jaguar. Is it jaguar or jaguar? I'm not sure. Well, either way, we have our Popo repaint jaguar. There is a repaint of a black panther in the same sculpt. Here is the Jaguar. I have I have the Black Panther over there somewhere. So, taking a closer look at it, we see that its eyes are kind of looking up, like it was looking up at a gazelle or a type of antelope. <coughs> um, but I just realized today that cat, big cats, cat, any type of cat, can like this stance. It doesn't look accurate accurate to me because I heard that big cats are supposed to have their left limbs move at the same time so let's say that this black this um jaguar it's it's a uh, left left leg and it's left arm well both of its both of its left legs should be moving at the same time so the hind limb and the forelimb should be moving at the same time so this hand, th this leg right here, should be back here maybe. But I guess it's a kind of turn pose that it's in. It kind of looks accurate, but it just doesn't look right for a cat to me. <clears throat> so with that being said, let's move on to the um, repaint and we'll actually compare. This is the repaint. The Black Panther. So, if you can see, there's the same sculpt. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. I prefer the Black Panther. I just, I have a, th I like Black Panthers. They're probably my second favorite big cat besides tigers. So, looking at the other side of the Black Panther, there is some hot, like dots. A different kind of shade in black. I don't know how, but at black actually has different shades. I don't know how that's possible. 
but these eyes are green. That's kind of the these eyes should be the the color that I wanted that I wanted the cheetah's eyes to be, but I guess that. Yeah. Sorry, that was my mom. She just went upstairs. She got a call. But anyway, I guess that. I guess that they just decided to go for a tomato brownish. With that being said, both of these big cats, I like them both, but I feel like what's the difference between a black panther and a black jaguar? Let me know in the comments. I kind of think I know because one time I was like a guessing game of different pictures. Um, it was on YouTube somewhere of Black Panther versus Black Jaguar. Can you tell which one is which? And I got pretty much every single one right because I think that Black Panther is a bit smaller than Black Jaguars. And Black Jaguars have kind of like orangey yellow highlights. But with that being said, let's move on to the Papo Leopard. Oh, jeez. Sorry, my stand is not in very ac accurate stand. It just fell. Okay, well, anyway, my, I kind of have, like, a thing going on back there. It's propped up on an Uno box with, uh, can like, a big candle holder behind it. I, I don't know. But here is the Papo Leopard. I think I have a problem with this leopard. Because inside these little circles on it, it's kind of like a pink highlight. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but, um, I don't know. Sorry, that's my elbow. I didn't, I didn't just fart, that was my elbow. Okay, now it's not doing it, because you want the eyes to think that it was a fart. Well, anyway, looking at the eyes, I like the eyes, but I don't think the left eye has a pupil. You can't really focus that too much. But this has a black tip on it, like the cheetah should have had, too. <clears throat> it's kind of in, like, a crouching pose. And people don't really usually know the difference between a jaguar and a leopard. I'm pretty sure that a jaguar is actually bigger than a leopard. Okay, now I'm looking at it. Why is, why is my leopard bigger than my jaguar? Okay, that's weird. But this this jaguar is, has an accurate stance, but the difference is that <clears throat> there's no dot in the circle. The see like there's a circle ish thing and a dot. It kind of looks like a bunch of eyes on it. On these, it's just circles. And I'm pretty sure they live in different places. <coughs> and I heard that some jaguars and leopards actually live in Texas. Okay, you, you're probably not gonna believe me, but actually, it's a proven fact that some jaguars and leopards live in like New Mexico and Texas. They kind of like, I, I don't know, but they do. You don't have to believe me, but it's true. I know, I know, can't believe everything you read on the internet, but it's actually true. <coughs> so moving on to the bigger cats, let's bring out my Popo laying down tiger. Now this tiger comes with an accessory has three cubs, and we'll look at the accessory first. So both of these cubs have high detail. They have painted paws, which is really, they're really cute. This one, I think, is the cute. I, I like this one because he's kind of is looking up and is roaring. Well, not roaring, but like squealing at his mother, because if you can see that there, he's kind of like squealing at her. But one thing about these guys is they're all connected. Like, they're not separate pieces, which is good because it makes them easier to find. And they have amazing paint jobs, but I think... Well, the heads are di the head stripes are different, but most, most of the stripes are the same as each other. Or shouldn't be. And then this is the mother, and... She's flat on this side, so it's completely flat. She's just laying down with her paws crossed. She's kind of like, hey, what's up? And here's the back. So it looks pretty accurate laying down, but it's pretty, pretty creepy. It's like half of a tiger right there. <clears throat> and the paint job on this is like 
a nice and I don't know how to describe it, but the orange on it kind of stands out. Let's move on to my next tiger. This is a tiger holding another tiger. This this is another mother tiger. And she is holding a little baby there. <coughs> now, no, this baby cannot come out of her mouth. Uh, I didn't even try. I knew that it couldn't come out of its mouth. So, don't try to get this baby out of its mouth. It's not plugged in. So, don't break your papa model. Uh, this tiger is in a pretty accurate stance. Uh, a lot of a tiger can do this. Just, just kind of, hey, what's that? It kind of goes along with this tiger. I don't have the baby tigers, like the like standing ones, juveniles. <clears throat> but I do have these. Uh, those, these guys kind of go together. And then moving on to our next tiger. We have the Papo Roaring Tiger. This tiger is in a weird stance for me. It's kind of got its legs spread out pretty far. And it's leading to the side like that. Like, you can see how much it's leaning to the side. It is compared to me. It is kind of small for a Papo tiger. But I like the mouth because all the teeth are detailed. And you have nice fangs. And it's a pretty nice body. I'm pretty sure a tiger can kind of pull this pose together. Uh, and it goes with this tiger. This is the Papo Standing Tiger, 2016 Standing Tiger, and strangely enough, I'm pretty sure, oh wait, no, that was 2017, okay, there is no 2017 um, Tigers, a lot of people were thinking on the internet, now, this was 2017, and I thought it was, until I read on the bottom that's actually made in 2016, <clears throat> where I like these Tigers both, because like, I'm going to have the claws brought out. Like, you see that. They go together like this. So, that looks pretty cool. Um, when you put them together like that. This one also has highly detailed teeth. There's white on the underbelly. And there's a nice orange with a musculature. Um, the tails are really, they're really accurate and poseable because they're kind of helping with balance. Because this tiger is kind of leaning off to the side where, where, where the tail is kind of leaning off to this side, kind of balancing it a bit. And then this tail is kind of just leaning back on it. Um, I don't understand why this hand didn't have claws coming out of it. Well, this paw didn't have claws coming out of it. And this one did. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or there was a design flaw. But moving on to our final... Tiger, finally. We have the Papo male tiger. I don't understand why this one was made. It just kind of looks like a regular tiger. It doesn't go with any others. It's just kind of walking around. Um, the stance, Edison, I don't think it's accurate because uh, the, 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 this hand, this paw should be up here and this paw should be back here. Uh, but it doesn't matter because this tiger is a big tiger for Papo. I think this is their biggest tiger. It's bigger than this tiger. It back its back goes over this tiger's back. And see that it's bigger. And I think it's longer than that tiger. It's just bigger. It's way bigger than this tiger. This little guy. This is like a juvenile, mate. Wait, yeah, this is like a juvenile. Because you can just see how much bigger this tiger is. It's even bigger than this tiger. You can't really tell because it's standing up. But I can tell if this tiger was standing up. It would be a lot taller than this one. And I'm not sure about this tiger because it's kind of laying down. It looks really big. So maybe it is. Maybe this one is the biggest. But for right now, I think this might be the biggest tiger. It's just a male just kind of walking along. He's not doing anything. He's just a general, general dude. They did the same thing with the male lion for Papo. But I have the one that has the closed mouth. I don't have the one that has the open mouth. That's roaring to the, to the sky. But moving on to 
What is not a tiger? This is a very special figure that I have from Papo. This is the Papo White Lion. And this is a repaint of the Papo Regular Lion. So here are the two lions together here. And you see what I mean by it's a repaint. <clears throat> so both of these tigers have, I mean, lions have mm, um, a lot of muscle to them, bas basically. And their manes are pretty, really big. I kind of like the stance that they're in. Just kind of a regular stance. I like this lion because of the highlights and the mane and the goldish. <clears throat> and here it is compared to the tiger. So there's the Papa lion and the Papa tiger. <clears throat> I think both of these go well together. <clears throat> I searched white lion. <coughs> And these things actually exist. I, I thought I thought for a second that they were like, like not real, like they were just part of fiction. But the but white tigers actually exist, and so do black tigers. Like they're tigers that are all black. It's kind of weird. It's really creepy. But yes, there are tigers that are all black. It, it kind of they kind of look like ghost tigers. Like I mean, lions, black lions. So you have your white lion, you have your black lion, and you have your regular lion. But, I don't think Papa ever made a black lion. With well, that being said, I have to wrap the video up. This was kind of a long video for me. So, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.